let us call this point A. Through this point, we can draw as many lines as we like. This line, another line, another line. Through a point infinite infinite number of lines can be drawn. Suppose there are only there are two points A and B. How many lines can can we draw through point A and B? Let's draw the line A B. We can name this line a B and we can uh, name it also line B A can we draw another line through A and B maybe we can draw a curve in geometry when we say line we mean straight line This is actually a postulate in geometry and it is called line postulate. Two distinct points determine a line. So there, if there are two points, let us say point A is different from point B, we can draw one and only one line. Suppose there are three points. Let us say this is point A, point B, then point C. On this line are points A, B, and C. All of them are on the line. These points are called collinear points. They are on the same line. Collinear points are points on the same line. Suppose we have uh, point A, point uh, B, and then point C. Since the two distinct or two different uh, points determine a line, we can draw a line here through point B and C and this will then be outside the line. If I will draw a line here, this will be outside the line. If I will draw a line here, this will be outside the line. Let's draw a line here. This is line BC. And this is line BC, or if you want, you can call it line CB. Okay. Now, this is outside the line. Now, 
through this point, we can draw as many lines as we like. We saw it here. Okay? Through point A, infinite number of lines can be drawn. But according to Euclid, there is just one line we can draw through this point outside this line that is parallel to this. Parallel. Let, to indicate parallelism, we, we use this symbol. Okay. This means the distance everywhere here and the distance here are equal actually everywhere. So d sub 1 is equal to d sub 2. Okay, this is called Euclid's fifth postulator parallel parallel postulate postulate or Euclid's Euclid's fifth postulate according to Euclid through a point uh, through that point through a point this point is outside a line through a point outside a line outside the line means the point is not on the line outside the line there is one and only one line parallel to the given line. So the point outside the line is A and the given line is line BC. Letter E Postulate Postulate What do we mean by postulate in geometry? A postulate is a statement that is accepted it is accepted that is accepted as true without the need of uh, proving it without the need of any proof e f subsets of a line Let us draw a line. Let's say this is A, this is point uh, B, and this is point C. The three points are collinear. All of them are on the line. Now, the subsets of a line are segment, And then ray. A segment is a part of a line from let's write here segment 
from point A to point B, this is just a part of a line. From point A to point B is a segment. We can call that segment AB. This is the symbol for segment. We put uh, a, a short segment above AB, a vinculum. Or we can call it segment BA. Another segment is in this figure is segment BC. This one. Or we can call this segment CB. Another segment is segment AC. Or we can call it segment CA. Now what is a segment? It is a part of a line from a point to another different point and all the points between them. Concentrate on this segment. This one. This one. A segment, segment AB is a union of point A and B and all the points between A and B. So, this is the segment. All the points here plus the end points A and B is segment AB or segment BA. This segment is a union of all the points between B and C, including point B and C. So, the end points are included in the segment. Segment AC is composed of all the points between A and C, together with point A and C. Let's go to Ray. A ray is also a part of a line. It's just a part of a line. So, for example, this one. This point. B. That is point B. That is a point on the line. So, this point and all the points to its right side. Okay. This is the symbol for ray. We cannot, uh, we cannot call this ray uh, CB. This is wrong. Okay. I'm referring to, let, let, let me draw it here. This is uh, the ray BC. That is ray BC. You cannot call this ray CB. In naming the ray, the end point should be written first. Now, how about uh, this ray from B towards this direction? Let me draw that. Okay. B, then A. This is this is the end point of the ray, so we write it first, and then A. So this is ray B A. You you don't uh, call it ray A B. This is wrong. Or you don't call it uh, ray B A. Wrong. Okay, this is ray B A. Now. This this is the end. It so happened that the end point here is B. The end point here is B. This is towards that direction. And this is towards this direction on the same line. We call this opposite rays. Opposite rays. This is ray B C. This is ray B A. 
Now, if we draw a ray here, this is an endpoint, so we can call that uh, from point A this is B C we can call this ray A B that is the end point or we can call it ray A C okay now what is a ray how do you define a ray let's concentrate on ray uh, this one ray uh, BC. Array is a union of point B, the end point, and all the points to its right side. Or you can say it this way. Ray BC is the union of point B and all the point C to its right side, where C represents all the points to its right side. Thank you.